Steve, are you ready for a sandwich? Oh man, I'd love a fucking sandwich. Sandwiches are good, but this is not that sort of sandwich. It's a sandwich. Close enough. Caravan is that sandwich. How sandwiches spelled? <laughs> this is. You think I'd know that? <laughs> you think you would, but no. <laughs> yeah. This is Caravan Sandwich. It's a demo that is currently on Steam. Uh, the game is out, I believe, soonish. Uh, I have made the mistake of closing Steam a while ago, and now I'm, I'm on ya. Well, I'm on it. Uh, this... Uh, 2024! No date yet. No date yet? Okay. I think this was either announced or shown off at, like, the Wholesome Games thing or Day of the Devs. Yes, this is a relatively new... Um... Relatively new... Yeah, relatively new on the... On the... We've known about it up front. Uh, yeah, as I said, currently demo on Steam sometime this year. Um seems to become some kind of third-person action game. Anyway, we'll dive in. Mm. Uh, I have played it for a few minutes to make sure it was going to work. Uh, I are there pikeys? And are they trying to sell you a caravan? Alright, so we are playing... Yeah, we play as a character called... I don't know how you pronounce it. Sage? Sorge? I'm not too Sorge. sure. Sorge. Uh, and we're trying to do something with our... to help find our uh, sister or something. So, usual third person perspective. Pretty neat looking game. I think it's kind of. That's a nice little art style. Nice art style, I think. So. Sort of reminds me a little bit of um, Dusant in its appearance. A little bit. Sort of. Um, yeah, so, we've got all this sort of dialogue stuff. But... Oh. Hey, old lady! Oh, damn, Steam has changed its settings on me, the bugger. What's the change? I don't know, has it? I don't know, has it? Right. So, yeah. So, I'm crazy. Yeah, it's a, it's a neat, I think it's a neat little game. No, yeah, a, I like the look of it. The look of it, I think. So, we have this caravan thing we're going to dive into. Is that really a caravan? <laughs> well, I'm not too sure. There's, there it's is this thing back, called there's this thing called toaster, which I think is their equivalent of Twitter, effectively, mm. um, as to how you get as to how you get your quests. Um, so we've got a, a pinned post, which is how I think you actually get the um, as in how you keep the yeah. quests markers. So yeah, we've got single lost. Um, Emergency message is what we're starting with, which is the main objective, I believe, of this demo, or maybe the whole game, I'm not too sure. But we're yeah. trying to also do this lost signal loss thing, so I'm going to track that. Track that. This is the map. So it's got you know, standard, zoom in, zoom out. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of icons on the map is where we can go. We've got question marks. Usual sort of stuff. You should go to one of the question marks. I'm gonna, I can't get Can to you actually put like a marker down on one of those question marks? No, I've got no. I've got nothing to. No, this is a short answer. Okay. Not, at least not in the demo. So jump in. Use your controls left, right to left trigger and right trigger to. That's right, so fairly standard. And we've got A to drive faster. Just gonna stop here for a second, get out of the van. You can pick up stuff around the environment, so there's stuff like this. And this is a kind of, like a... Oh, some crafting stuff. Crafting stuff, I believe. Some, uh, some of them may even be... I think some of the items may even be directly related to quests that you're doing. Mm. So we're going to go over here. Wait, the line, there's a line leading you back the other way. Yeah, that's, that's, where, that's where I've come from. This is where I want to go, so... Oh. And then... And we walk up to this person up here. And this is what the dialogue is basically doing is via these little yeah. question mark little dialogue boxes, little dialogue thingies. So eh, 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 eh. I'll quickly skip through these.
you know, some of these. Yeah, I think you've got a couple of options, but you've only get one thing to chose by, and it doesn't go back and repeat the other one, if that makes sense. Yeah, all it, all it is is just some exposition as far yeah. as just fleshing out elements and plot and that. Yeah. It does seem to go on a bit, that's the end of the problem. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's, on, it's onboarding you. Mm. Um, so, this is what I would imagine this demo is a little bit not like. Um, Clockwork. What the fuck was that game called? We literally just did it, and I can't remember. Clockwork Ambrosia. Mm -hmm. Where this is much more of a just vertical slice, and here's the start of the game. Yeah. Yep. Whereas that Clockwork Ambrosia seems to be much more. Kick the soccer ball! There you go. Oh no! I oh, lost it down there somehow. <laughs> Not getting out of that. <laughs> ah, fuck. Um, yeah, this se yeah, this doesn't seem to be specifically designed for a demo. It'll just go, hey, you're at the end, end point now. I think this will just be, a, a, yeah, as you said, a small section of the game. Mm. This sort of game would be fuckloads harder to do a demo of, like, a designed demo of than... Oh, yeah, for sure, because you've got so many things you can potentially do, yeah. So we picked up a couple of side quests there, I guess you could say. So we've got um, it's Bumps time for some drinks. drinks. So you yeah. so you get these three. So I've got to get um, food from Saffron, Clementine, and Olivia are in the village. Go ask them to give you something to for the get together. So that's that, that's the mission. Hang on, what's with the frog? I have no idea. You screw, Kyla. That's weird. The frog's <laughs> joining in the conversation. Mm. Unusual. Mm. Anyway. Is there combat in this thing? Uh, in the f 10 minutes I've played so far? No, I've not seen any. Okay. Oh, there's the frog. Is that the frog? Hang on. Yeah, okay, that's short and sweet. Alright, the frog's also kind of a pervert. Mm hmm. Uh oh. Oh, that didn't hurt me. Alright. All right. Found out that there's no um, fall damage. No fall damage, that's cool. I don't uh, like you ignoring these question marks on the map, Graham. <sighs> it's okay, though. Where actually is that one? Is it up? Isn't that the frog, though? Isn't that just where I was? No, it's not the frog guy, surely. This is another one. See, this is where being able to actually mark it and be able to run to it. I mean, it's that lady. That one? Roads are so adorable. Mm -hmm. There you go. They are the pillar of our community. Okay. Mm. Hey. It's missing they and her. Okay. Oh, is that what a tapenade is? I forgot that's what that was. Alright, so that's obviously one of the things for the get together. So that wasn't the question, right? The question mark is still there. So where's the question mark? Yeah. Behind, oh, behind her. And probably above you. Yeah, I don't know. Ooh. This is also one of the, one of those things that's also kind of annoying. Oh, there's a ladder you could probably climb up. I like this sort of... Um, oh, there you go. Mm. You'd be finally able to grow some wheat. Um, the mix of, like, naturist and almost technologist. There's a yeah. plank. See yeah. the plank from diagonal? Oh, this is... There you go. Mm. There you go. That's probably the question mark. Mm. And it was. This is looking like my sort of thing. Or one of my sorts of things. Yeah, I think it's just like it. I think it's going to be a, a, like a no... What's the word I'm looking for? Like a no... Um, oh, I've got to press it. I can actually jump onto that thing. 
yeah, like a cozy is not the right term, but I think it's going to be a, just a, a, a gentle third-person adventure. It's going to have no real risk to it, for the want of a better term. Like cheer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, probably doesn't have combat. I doubt it will, but it could have, I guess. Yeah, where am I going? You're uh, going the wrong way. The oh wrong no, wait, way. because your followed quest is the um, drinks one. Oh, which is all in city. It's all in town. Yeah, the right? circle. So you're trying to find the other two people and go, "Hey, give me do, your shit, so we can get wasted." I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna go that way, right? Oh, you're not gonna have that. Okay. No, not yet. I'm gonna do this one first. How's it feel driving? It's a little bit. It's okay, but it's a little bit. Um, it's not Forza. You know, as you would expect, but is, it, is there a bit of looseness to it? Like bit of looseness, bit, bit, yeah, a little bit, but it's sweet. It's, it's absolutely fine. I see you're probably not going to be doing much of it, so right. So inside the weird that they don't animate like the car in and out and all that sort of deal. Yeah, it just yeah, it just goes to black and you're outside of it. Yeah. I think you're working your way up that hill or something. Oh, okay, just a signal jam, okay. So that's where I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna go over here. Hang on, what happens if you drive into the water? Uh, I did that earlier actually, because I kind of went to make this jump thing and. and you know. Is it invisible wall? Mm, I suppose I'll just hit something where I can't go forward. Oh, fuck yeah, keep going. Oh, I'm going, keep going. <laughs> you just turned me around automatically then. Oh, it, it automatically. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Um, oh, I was playing something fairly, re like, relatively recently that did the same thing. I think it does it in chair as well, actually. Yeah. I fucking love this look. Yeah, I see. It's a really neat looking game. How's the running around and jumping and climbing feel? Yeah, quite neat. You just sort of jump up and he just, just grabs the character, just grabs the uh, so environment. Fairly, so it's, it's fairly it's straightforward. Really quite responsive and tight. It's yeah. Good. I wonder how much like um, crafting in that there is in this. There's because like my under, my the thing. Right, I I found out about this either from one of those things or on an article on PC Gamer. And I got a bit of a Pacific Drive vibe from it where it's very much, you're in a car, but you drive around and you can craft shit and stuff too. Okay. But, I think I might be wrong on that vibe. What exactly am I actually doing here? Ugh. He's all going crazy on me. Okay. Because you've got a jam, bro. Deactivate the area's jammer to regain X. Okay. So I only go up here. Maybe the jam is across that. Is the jammer in here or am I... Nah, it'd be there, where the satellite is. Oh, okay, over there. Okay. Turn, no, 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 turn around. Because that button you're about to hit... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, there. Okay. I'd say that's the jam. Unusual component. Okay. Check out the pot. What am I doing? X. Uh. Wait, okay. is pressing X just taking you into this? Yeah, that's all it's doing. That's fucking weird. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, deactivate the error's jammer to regain access to the network because everything's all scrambled. Okay. I oh did. Ah. There was a person here before, I saw them. Alright, so I had to drop that ladder. Okay, that makes it, makes it easier to get up here. What about that thing? Maybe go around. Go around and climb up that ladder. Maybe maybe I was wrong. 
It has happened more than once. <laughs> Not many more times more than once, but it does happen occasionally. Is this a gem? No, I'm just picking it. There you ah, go. That was it. All right. All right, I was wrong. <laughs> okay, so that's now highlighted. More question oh, marks. Fuck. More question marks, basically. This map looks really quite big. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it makes me a bit nervous about how big this fucking thing actually is going to be. Yeah, I mean, I'm only on this bit, but you'll zoom out. It's, it's you know. Okay. It's... No, I'm not so sure. It's a bit hard to... Oh, it might be... Like, I mean, I keep saying it, be, but it's giving me like such strong vibes of it. It might be like Chia, where Chia has a fairly big map. Hmm. It's also but, soft, but yeah. Yeah. But it wasn't necessarily packed, because that was like a good uh, 20, 30 hours. Yep. And this map does sort of seem like a sort of maybe Assassin's Creed sized, old Assassin's Creed sized map, maybe. Yeah, like maybe. Two? Yeah. Oh, I like how you can run, like, the uh, the direction of the camera, the direction of the running is not necessarily affected by the camera. Mm. But that, hmm, that's a double-edged sword, though. That could be really annoying. Yeah, it depends on what you're trying to do. Yeah. Break in. Okay. Ah. As far as doors go, this is a tough cookie. <laughs> okay. There, yeah, there is also the question of what the fuck happened to that lady who was up there. Yeah, you saw her too. That's good. I'm glad I wasn't the only one. Oh, I could have had you going for ages if I'd have known that. <laughs> lady? I don't know what lady you're talking about, Graham. You're full of it. <laughs> you're going crazy. Yeah, so I that there. Is there a question mark here? I need to... I don't think there is. It's further up. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of there. But that'll be like some cliff climbing shit. Yeah, let's go over there. Actually, what the fuck? You up there? I wonder if, the, if those two sort of component types are the only two things you're picking up over the course of the game. Yeah. So when I walk up to that, I just go back into that. And that, yeah, that that's not entirely clear or why it's doing that. Yeah. That to me seems almost like a bug. Oh, the game doesn't explain that, so I'm not going to say it's a bug, but. Snack! Okay, so what's the inventory? So we've got van keys, we've got an unjammer, we've got the food, we've got some snack, we've got a toaster watch. Okay. I want a toaster watch. Old family photo with my sister, Garants, and our two fathers, Dad and Pop. Okay. Uh, toaster is this thing, map is that, settings is that. Cool. What's, um, can you go into the settings for a sec? Mm hmm Um, yeah, what's in the video settings? I'm interested. Not Fuck much. Oh, okay. Not much. Nope. <laughs> Very much not much. That's a bit average, a bit boring. Alright, let's go back to the game. The more I'm looking at this, the more I fucking want to play this right now. <laughs> and do I do something stupid like download the demo and play it for myself at the expense of starting Dragon's Dogma 2? Probably, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> There's nothing there. Grab that box. So the question for me is, how does the witch part oh, fuck, actually play into it? Yeah. Well? Technocratic witchcraft. <laughs> That's a bit weird. I have to jump over that small ledge. Yeah. 
<laughs> I think we've talked about this in the past, but like that that style of like graphically representing like here is a traversable pathway by having coloured paint or stuff on rocks. Mm. That because it's it's not naturally occurring. Oh, oh good, no, new. No. But then there's the assumption of did someone paint this on like in the in the world or how is it? Yeah. Mm. Oh man, I wonder if you can jump off that ramp. So the one that is, you know, you can't see from. You see the one near the to lift it, just above my head there. Just above my head, uh, that little one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. I jumped off that before and landed in the river that was next to the next to it. So sorry. You can sort of jump off it, but I don't think it's. I was going to say, there's a big container in the water that looks like a ramp too. Mm. Oh, what? Oh, just Wait, what? How did just do that? How were you doing that? Oh, pressing Y does it. Do you have to hold it? Uh, I think so, but not very long. Huh. Huh. You have to hold the Y button for less time than, it was, than I had to hold the Y button to heal in fucking yeah. that game. Oh, it's a weird little bit of physics elements on that landing. Yeah, it's not, it's not, look, we're not running into something here, it just, it just stops dead. So, it doesn't appear to be, like, yeah, there's no physics per se. So we've got heaps of these common components and... Oh, there you go. Oh, go on, got to get 13, oh, don't even know, okay. So that was what, that was sort of what was missing from this thing. Like yeah. it says, you need to get... So, blah, 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 blah. Wait a second, yeah. Go and get some more components. Yeah, go get some components, so... I don't say how many, but then the game tells you. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. I need what? Three fans was it? No. Three there. What a kid, I wonder if you can put your van in a position that is completely undrivable. Eh, maybe. What, like you can get a, just well stuck. Get stuck, yeah. Well, there's a ladder that can drop in some way. Mm. Ooh, right here. Yep, that's that's what these games sorts of games are. Ooh, what's that? What's that? Exactly. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm not too sure that this game's going to have the story stuff that's going to be able to drive it, so to speak, but it's going to certainly have the look and the stuff to do, I think, is going to be really good. The story will be basic enough to I think, be interesting. I, I think so. I think that's what I'm sort of expecting. Yeah. Which is not to say it's not going to be interesting. I just don't know if it's going to set the world on fire in terms of what it's trying to do. And... I, I keep repeating myself, but that was the exact same thing with Chair. Mm, yeah. Alright. All right. Yeah! We've got enough. Hey. So if I press... So just pressing Y once is enough to return to the van. Oh, right? so you don't even have to hold it. No, I just pressed it once, yeah. Uh, yeah, where am I going? Run into that. Yeah, it just it just stops. Yeah. There's no sort of bounciness, so to speak. <laughs> like like that that's not too big a drama, but like the weird the weird lack of for lack of a better term, bounce off when you landed that jump was a little bit different. Mm. It's just it's very um I think the suspension is quite is quite something in this in this game. Quite stiff. So <laughs> It's stiff yet soft. Mm. That'd be a good podcast name. Or title. Episode title. Oh, okay, I've got to go to this thing now, do I? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Mm, it'll take several days for the tool to be made. King of the Rings and move on to other things and you'll be no longer able to help them uh. with the current task. Please make sure you have enough, complete everything you want to before... Oh, okay. Interesting. So I should go and complete the other... 
I should go to and find do, the food shit. Go in the food stuff. That was in that one, wasn't it? So yeah, Oliver. I've and, got some bread. Oliver and saffron. Okay. I've got rich goat's cheese. No one wants your god goat's cheese, weirdo. <laughs> Can you swing on that tire swing? Uh, tire swing? Where? To to see the next to the oh, red that, barrel there. Oh, He comments it is there, but I can't use it. Oh man! <laughs> Bummer. Oh, and it gives you the portraits on the map that show you yeah, where really each are. of those characters are. Yeah. Oh, oh okay, that was just. I was so, about to say there was like a little white bag down there, but. Just got a case of how to actually figure out which one is which. Uh, They're both over the other side, so you'd probably have to take the. Yeah. Rope. Take the rope over. See if I can do that. Oh, what? Uh. No, this one's oh, that's why. You need a pulley. You don't have something for it. Oh, is that what I was saying? I wasn't saying it. No, yeah, okay. I think so. Go and press X on it and see what happens. I was trying to get a full one. I thought it was, I thought it was just missing the time now, but... Just stand. Don't jump on it. Oh, okay. So there I can't even use it. Ah, there's a bridge over there. I'll use the bridge. Is it? Yeah, but way less interesting. The thing is, yeah, it's true, but it's still... <laughs> oh, the Renettes are back. Okay. What in the what? fuck is going on? Why is there a... Why is there a... Um... I have questions. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Don't ask, me the, don't ask me the question. I don't know the answers. <laughs> God damn it. I was, I was really worried. I was really curious about that fucking frog that was down there and why there was an anthropomorphized frog that was holding like a recorder. Mm. And now there's these two. One's dressed like a superhero. <laughs> and one's dressed like a karate man. Mm. With nunchucks or swords. Hmm. Ah, he's Oliver. He's going to give me something, so I'm just going to... Apricot. Huh. Apricot's saying cheese already. I, I think she's too young to be talking, but okay. Mm. Alright, so we've got mountain cheese. Ew. We've got mountain cheese. Oh, that's fucking gross. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, alright, that explains some things then. Mm. Oh, that's a dick move. I mean, just walk into people's houses randomly. <laughs> I mean, look, you can do that in every other fucking game like this. Yeah, true. There are some games though where you do it and they're like, hey, what oh, are you, you doing? Fuck, yeah, off. fuck off. <laughs> exactly. Get out of my house, you fuck. Uh, so where am I still going on the map? I need to go... Is Saffron the you one that... You the other dude. The one on the... S he keeps going... This way. Somewhere. I can't remember what he looks like. and I can't quite see the map in enough detail to be able to tell you. I think it's this guy I want to talk to. Yes. What a dick! <laughs> oh, you should have just said no, but you would stop this behaviour. <laughs> My bread looks alright. Hmm. I've got everything! that other prick off the ledge. Mm. <laughs> Why is that little froggy pervert hanging out? Oh, okay. Then yeah, two saying cheese is fair enough. Yeah. Oh, 
There you go. You disassembled items and you made a component. Good job. Wait, gay man. <laughs> nice. Oh, she is about to pack her fucking nut nappies. Am I, just, am, I, am I getting these by just talking to these people? Is that what's happening? Pretty much. That's weird. How was life in Space City? Oh, that dude needs to be kicked in the fucking head and thrown over the ledge. Mm. Fuck him. He's an asshole. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Weird that it doesn't give you more of a, like, complete... Quest complete sort of message. Yeah. It's just, hey, you talk to these people, they're giving you shit, now fuck off and do something else. Yeah. Frog wants to take the character somewhere and hang out and try to serenade them. Mm, okay, that says archive post, which I think she means I've completed it. Yep. So that makes sense. And we can probably go and do this now, I suspect. Yes, okay. Ah, you probably could have, you could have done it before, but True. Yep. now there's, yeah. She came back pretty quick. Yeah. I do like the presentation of this game, though. It must be said. Yeah, I it'd like be it. nice if these if these moments were maybe animated, but yeah, I mean, I thought, I like, even though they aren't, they kind of still a neat way to do yeah, it. Yeah, it still looks nice. Mm. Also, I thought the antenna was going to go on the van, not on the fucking bridge. Mm. Oh, that's that looks fucked. It looks a bit uh, interesting. Five days since Goron Gan Garances? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. It did go on the van. Hmm. Channel Business and I can pick up signals from far away and locate channels. We're going to test the antenna again. What the? Huh. Okay. You see your wind... Oh, oh, look. Sweet. Sweet. What the? Oh, Jesus, what the fuck? Oh, Turn into the Matrix all of a sudden. Yeah. Receptacle, okay. It's not a great name. No. Okay. Okay. Okay, quit the jammer. That one. So? Oh, wait a sec, no, something's happening just then. Oh! Signal jammer. No. No, 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 I think I do have to get out. 
That's over there. objects. Oh, I see. It's like a extra machine. Yeah. Like the pings that you had in like just cause and shit like that. Mm. Yeah. Which room was it in? I think it was that middle one. It's the middle one? Yeah, it was the middle one. That noise that came, that noise where the was problems were getting the van coming up, that's... Is, is irritating. It is very irritating. Yes. <laughs> might be an option to turn it off. Okay, so if you hover, if you point at it, it tells you what it is and you can mark it. Okay. So are you moving the antenna with the cat, with the right stick? Yeah, yep. Opens the door. Ah, yes. oh, so you use the scan to figure it out. Yeah. I press X and that thing happens. And you get the. Oh, it doesn't show the wiring, you just have to find the label. Yeah, that's what it seems like. N466, I'm not seeing it. Oh, there it is. Now walk to the door to activate it. Okay, I think I can do that. Hey, it said walk to the door, not to the switch. Oh, wait a Hmm. Okay. Guns. Lots of guns. <laughs> oh, so where you were out, you could like use the antenna to figure out how to open those fucking door, that door. Mm. Mm. Fuck that. Oh, okay, okay. Literally right there. It wasn't where I parked it though. So I was just no. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look at this toaster thing. So, emergency message. So, obviously, this, gar this guarantee was working for some group called the Consortium, and they're a little bit past by the looks of it. I oh, mean, look, it's you, it's you, I don't want to say typical dystopian fiction. Oh, hey, a new, um, thing. Look in your go. Oh, yeah, I've got 40, oh, wow, what's those 11? Okay. It's a different component type. A different component type, okay. Let's see, we'll always go back to that door we couldn't get through, and then we'll might sort of wrap it up there. I wonder if those question marks are all just spots to sit down. I think, well, the first two have done so far have been, so I suspect yeah. probably so. If that's all they are, that might be a little bit more of a bummer, but um, unless they're like the towers in Assassin's Creed. Yeah. They don't seem to do anything other than mm. they, just sit, they just sit there and just look at the view, but... Uh... I mean, you need the generator, wouldn't you? Hmm. Platform, door, component, component. How many things can you mark at once? I can mark that one. This one. Okay. There's a component. There's a generator. 
Whatever the hell, no E N is, whatever that means. No English. Yeah, maybe. Split you off. have to speak Spanish into it to open it. <laughs> and a floor and a platform. So. And component. Okay. I've never got that before. Oh, so didn't. You didn't walk. <laughs> didn't obviously walk out far enough, close enough to it. Oh, uh, that's funny. So, uh, how do we get to that generator? I wonder if they have to park the car on the platform. Maybe. running in this game, I think this is going to be a default speed, because walking is actually pretty slow. Yeah. Can we go back this way? Hmm, it's not like it. I'm not too sure there's much more we can do in this demo. I'm sure there's, there's well, stuff I'm, I mean, to do, sure there's stuff to do where, where to go. Bring the map up again. <laughs> Zoom it out a touch. Hmm. So I think that, that big tower we're looking at is probably... And I can't mark it on the map, so I can't really point at it, but... Mm. Um, that thing that, uh, the thing that is kind of looking at is probably that tower. Yeah. But how you get there, I don't know. I don't think I can get up. Yeah, I can't get it up through there. I can't get walk out through those things. I'd wager that's a question better solved in the actual mm, main the full, game. Full game, yeah. This game looks neat. I like the look of it. It looks fucking cool looks as cool. shit. It controls pretty well. Uh, music's nice. I would prefer to turn down to have it there, but the music is actually quite nice. Controls pretty well. I think the driving's a little bit mushy in places, but it's fine. Mm. I think the puzzle mechanics are going to be interesting to see how elaborate they get. Yeah. So far, what we've been doing is just walking up and sort of picking up stuff. I don't know if they're going to get more elaborate than that. But uh, yeah, this looks neat. This mm. is gotta be the name, right? Caravan sandwich. Caravan sandwich. Thank you. With a witch. Sarah Rich. Yes. All right. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. See ya. Bye. Bye.